So, uh, <coughs> did Larry the Cable Guy really steal your closing joke? Why would Why would you ask me? Did he really? Of course, he fucking stole my closing joke. <coughs> That's what people do, man. I've been at the comedy store my whole fucking life. I'm. It was about 2019. Okay, no, no, it was about 2014. I'm doing some some country ass shit, right? Because I know I'm. No, no, I'm trying to vie for the fucking the the blue collar comedy tour. And this motherfucker, Larry the Cable Guy, sitting in the back of the fucking comedy store. Okay, he's sitting in the back of the comedy store. I didn't even fucking know he's with Carlos Mencia. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I start doing my thing, and he starts doing his fucking thing. And then you got this motherfucker, Jeff Foxworthy. He stepped in on, on that shit, and he's never even been in movies before. There's about 3,000 scripts that come here to fucking Hollywood, right? And they all pass on these guys' desks. And they get to me and they say, fuck that guy. There's enough bullshit around here. And the thing is, I did this joke on fucking TV first. Okay? I was on the Conan O'Brien show. And don't get me started about Conan O'Brien. This guy's more of a thief than fucking... Than the Cedric the Entertainer. And I don't want to bring him up. Yeah, I do my joke on Conan... And he takes it from the TV. He downs on it, shows it to his family, and his family all starts laughing. Next thing you know, they're on the blue collar motherfucking comedy tour when I'm supposed to be on that tour. So then I get a fucking call from, uh, I don't know, you guys know this guy, uh, R Rob Schneider. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy, Rob Schneider, calls me up, and he says to me, smiling, he says to me, yo, man, I want you to do you're, you're my, you're, you're my homie, bro. You're my homie. I know Adam Sandler hasn't put you in his fucking movies. I know that Will Ferrell hasn't put you in his movies. Seth MacFarlane hasn't put you in his movies. I'm gonna put you in your movies, cause you're the original motherfucker, Polly Shore. We're gonna do Hot Chicks too. Me and you. I said, you know what, Rob, you're my fucking, you're my fucking boy, dude. You're my Jewish brother. La chacha machela, my motherfucker. La chacha machela, motherfucker. So I said, I don't have to read the script. I trust you. So I get the motherfucking script. I walk in, and he already did this thing. I'm fucking American Gigolo, Deuce Bigelow, but uh, number two with grown-ups. So I walk into the office, and I get the motherfucking script, and I turn to page three, and right there they, they say, all right, oh, I forgot to tell you, you're going to be transgender in this shit. I'm like, what? Like, oh, yeah, we're going to chop your dick off and put a pussy over it and get some fucked up tits and you get some hormones and a fucked up wig. How about them apples? I said, man, I said, no way. I'm cray cray, but I ain't that cray cray. I ain't going to be in Hot Chicks 2 and I'm going to be the only tranny in that motherfucker. What are you fucking crazy? I said, motherfucker, give it to David Spade. All right, he's like the Mikey commercial. I ain't gonna do it. Who's gonna do it? He ain't gonna do it. Who's gonna do it? I know. Let's get David Spade to do it. That motherfucker will do anything. In 15 years in Hollywood, okay? No, wait, no. In about six years in Hollywood, all right? No one has the recollection or the mind or the mindset to remember someone laying in the fucking line to, to a sold out arena show to watching Carrot Top sit there and do his fucking his, his gay ass fucking tricks. Okay? With the fucking, no, uh, 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 and the fucking, oh, have you seen this? And look at this toilet seat. For 15 years. And if you saw on the, uh, uh, the, the Hulu special with him, Carrot Top, and fucking, but uh, David Copperfield, David, Co no, Chris Angel, Chris Angel. I've seen these guys together. Okay? And I see Carrot Top up there sitting next to Chris Angel, who's a, who's a badass motherfucker. He did some great magic. Great motherfucking magic. He does this thing. He does this thing. He's got the car trick, all that shit. And then he puts out the devil, which is his cock. And he pushes that shit out. All right? So the same amount of time I'm sitting there watching this cracker-ass motherfucker on Netflix sitting next to David Copperfield say, I started my shit in Branson, Missouri. Motherfucking cracker-ass, you didn't start your shit in Branson, Missouri. You know where you started that shit? In Peruvio, Tennessee. That's right. Google that shit. Peruvio, Tennessee. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for throwing these guys under the fucking bus. But enough is enough. I have not seen Carrot Top getting a standing ovation. No one has seen this motherfucker get a standing ovation. I've seen him get a sitting ovation. I've seen him get a crying ovation. Okay? I've seen people throw up in a fucking bucket like they just had ayahuasca innovation. I've seen that shit. 
And don't get me motherfucking started on Drew Carey. This fucking guy, okay? He's sitting in the back of the fucking club. He's watching me do my shit. And then you got Tom Rhodes, the real motherfucker that started it. And then Drew Carey is up there walking around. I'm going to do a sitcom, the Drew Carey show. And he's got some fucking fucked up people on that shit. And poor Tom Green and Tom Rhodes, all the motherfucking Toms, all of them, Tom Tom Club, the old school 80s, they stole all that shit. And Drew Carey coming at me going, Oh, oh man, I don't want to be a movie star. Motherfucker, you don't know how to act, bitch. You're from fucking Glendale or some shit. You don't know how to act. Man, because the truth must be told. The truth must be told. History must be wrote. Fucking guys, man, and me, Tom Rhodes, fucking Boom Shakalaka. We're all on the back burner. And these guys are sitting up in their motherfucking houses in Bel Air. And we're out there living in our motherfucking tents on the streets of Hollywood. So trying to tell you that shit. And I ain't fucking stop drinking. I'll drink when I want. I'm over 18, motherfucker. I'll take an Uber home. Mm. Drew Carey was never a fucking stand up. How many times have I told you he's a whack-ass motherfucker on the Price is Right? Stealing Bob Barker's motherfucking spot. The poor man is under the ground, living in fucking dirt. And this motherfucker's trying to take fucking Bob Barker there with the fucking ding thing with the ding thing going, oh, this next Price is Right for the next runner-up. Come up with me. So, Polly, are you really related to Mark Walker? No. No. This is what happened. Okay, we both got invited to a um, an Illuminati party, right? Only one of us can go. So, mm. so I walk in the party, and then all of a sudden, Marky Marky Wahlberg from the Funky Bunch is there too. I said, "Motherfucker!" I said, oh, "I said, oh, I thought only one of us can go." And then Leonardo DiCaprio comes out, and he says, "No, dude, you guys are both straight." So we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, he starts looking at my hairline, and he's like, starts. Cutting, he's like, you gotta shave this part of your hair. I said, dude, I'm already fucking losing my hair. And he says, but I'll shave that part if you shave that part. And then all of a sudden, he says, yo, do you want to do some movies with me? And I was like, yeah, I want to do some movies with you. I'm a fucking big fan. I mean, you start in several movies: Boogie Nights, The Fighter, Ted, Daddy's Home, Two Guns, Pain Game, all these motherfucking movies. And Robert De Niro comes up to me and he says, yo, Polly, let me just put my finger in your asshole. And I said, whoa, bro, only if you give me $200 million. And he said, I got you. Uh So he said he gave me $200 million. De Niro and Pacino and fucking Joe Pesci put their finger in my asshole. I get escorted to leave, and the rest is history. The one dude made fucking 20 movies in a row, millions of dollars, and I got left by myself. One of those dudes is named Mark Wahlberg from AKA motherfucking Funky Bunch. And the other one is named motherfucking Polly Shore. And that's my story. And after this, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure once this airs, all these people are going to come after me. And I'm going to wind up with Joe Rogan over at the mothership in Texas. (sighs) Fuck. I need to get an Uber because I am fucking wasted right now. Does anybody, can you call me an Uber out of here? Please, or a Lyft or something. Mm. Mm. You can't call me an Uber, please. Huh? What about my wife? Call my wife. Have my wife pick me up. Uh, Polly, you don't have a wife. <clears throat> please, just come on. Help me out of my seat, motherfucker. Yeah, Shit. Yeah. Mm, mm. All right, you got it? Don't fucking touch me, you fucking woke motherfucker. I'll kill you. Come on. I said don't motherfucking touch me, bitch. Holy, we Back the have... fuck off, I'll stab your ass. I walk on my own time, motherfucker. I got my own motherfucking walk. I walk like an old black man is how I'm walking around this motherfucker. Wheezy. Oh, this is the big one I'm done.